JT, maybe you can start by just saying how uh, you feel about Casey DeSmith. He's coming in a very difficult position, obviously, and gets his first playoff win. Yeah, he was uh, very important for us today. Um, you know, these are going to be two hard road games for us, and um, for him, obviously, to step in and come up with a performance like that so timely is really big for our group. We always talk about how much confidence we have in him, and he showed us today why, you know, why when he gets his chance, he belong, belongs in there, and I'm uh, very happy for him. Um, Brock, when, you know, they have that big push in the first four or five minutes of the game, I know you guys didn't get a lot of shots. They didn't get a, give up a lot of shots, get a lot of shots on Casey, but he looked strong. He was tracking it. How much confidence does that put through the group when you see him playing well, looking calm, and it kind of lets you guys just kind of get into the flow of your game? Yeah, I think it's big. And, um, you know, we expected a push right out the gate, and uh, we knew we just needed to stay patient and, um, you know, stick in there in case he made some big saves for us tonight. And, you know, like Millsy said, he was an important piece for us, and you know, we're just happy for him tonight. JT, I know you guys don't like talking about one another when you're sitting beside each other in this environment, but on your goal, shooting around the Brock screen, how, how big was – how big a part of that – of his presence there was your goal here? I mean, it's, uh, I also don't like talking about him either when I'm up here, but he, uh, it, it, those don't go in without him. You know, I'm shooting, you know, about the top of the circle normally, and we've scored on that goal plenty of times over the years, but he, he's getting really good at, you know, making the goalie when I release it look at his back, and um, um, he's too good to score on him from out there. It's not going to happen without the screen, and he knows that, so we try to show up different looks, but, um, Obviously, he was, and that's like I said, he's going to catch it if, if, he's, if he can't see it, or if he sees it, he's going to catch it. So it's a great play by Brock. Brock, same qualifier applies here. Um, you get moved back, sort of back into the net front. You've been more in the bumper throughout this series until tonight. Uh, but you've put a lot of work in, I know, to improve as a screener, and some of that's been with JT's encouragement. Can you say anything about that sort of <clears throat> process for you? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think JT's played a lot in that front just back in the day for him. And, um, you know, took a while to buy in, but we bought in after a few years. And, um, you know, he's taught me a lot from, you know, just playing that position and, and looks that I, I have, that I have when I do get the puck. So, um, yeah, he's uh, helped me a lot. Sorry, just one more for me. Despite how frequently you played in your own end of the rank, how, how, do you, how did you two feel especially – uh, about your game, it, it seemed like even though your team would have wanted a higher volume of chances, it seemed like the two of you were in on a lot of them. Did you feel like you were opportunistic despite how little you had the puck tonight? Yeah, it was a one and done night for us. I think as a t probably as a team, it was we didn't sustain many shifts. Like we would get, you know, I had a ton of shots today, but that was about it. Like it, that was that was it, and we were back checking and kind of. You know, we didn't really play in any zone tonight. We just kind of went up and down. I don't think we played a bad game as line. I thought we were okay, but you know, they they played really well. Like they responded. You know, I think after all of our possession, the first two games, we knew they were going to have a response, and it wasn't going to go like that the rest of the way. So, um, yeah, I think we feel good about it. I think this is a perfect time in a game where your power play needs to step up, and it was timely for us. So, um, we just talk in these games all the time. We say stay patient in these games because they'll you don't want to crack in a, in a boring type of event game for your line. Brock, you sat in the box for the full two minutes. That was the good news. I just wonder, did that feel like a never-ending penalty, like out in a high-leverage situation like that? Like, how sort of anxious is it to have to sit there and then Z joins you as well? Yeah, it's not a good feeling, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to look at the play again, but, um, yeah, it's uh, not a good time to take a penalty, and uh, that's all I really have to say about it. What about the penalty killing in this series so far, JT? Just the job and your part of it. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's about getting the job done and paying a price, and clearly guys are, are doing that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, obviously, lately, uh, you know, the second half of the year, I haven't been on as much. You know, I've gone for a draw or two, but those guys that are getting the call regularly are doing an unbelievable job for us. And, uh, you know, I, they take so much pride in that area of the rink, and I just nice to see after the last couple of years of – how much our penalty kill kind of failed and let us down sometimes. It's nice to see the, the hard work these guys are putting in and the buy-in and the shot blocks and, and they have their pairs and they have chemistry and it's, uh, it's awesome. We need that so bad. And, uh, you know, in, in years prior, they get that power play in the third, you know, you know they're scoring. It's a terrible feeling, but I'm super happy for them and we're going to need them moving forward. They've been doing a great job for us. JT, even though they had a lot of zone time, it felt like 
you guys were able to sort of keep them to the outside and especially taking away a lot of their backdoor passes. There wasn't a lot of east-west movement. Um, even though they had a lot, a lot of zone time, can you guys take pride in how you, how you defended the slot to carry rebounds and sort of prevented those passes? Yeah, I mean, that's one of, us, the, one of the parts of our DNA as a team is making the goalies play half the net, protecting the middle. When it gets loud and crazy, you just do your job and stay in your structure. We don't have to do anybody else's job. You don't have to go rogue. And tonight I thought we had tons of sticks in the middle of the rink, like you said, and that's probably why it's frustrating for the other team because you want to get in the interior, and I think playoff hockey is about denying that. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, I'm sure Casey would tell you. I mean, I feel like a lot of them were up on the outside as well. And when they were in there, Casey – was able to make the save. So, I mean, that's part of how we want to play hockey as a team. And, you know, so I think they obviously all played us a little bit tonight. But, like you said, when we rely on our structure and we have sticks in the middle and everybody buys into taking care of that ice, you know, we're a hard team to score on, I think. JT, you talked about how a few years ago, or even last year, uh, if they got that late power play, then you, you, you know they're scoring. Can you talk about the resilience of this team and how, how you saw a little bit of that tonight? Yeah, I, I mean, some new faces on the kill, obviously, but, you know, I, I just think it's the, this goes back to day one stuff with the day-to-day -day stuff is, you know, especially for the penalty kill, it's a, it's a refresher, restart, try to forget the past. Um, like I said, it's not like we knew it was going in, it was just you had it in the back of your mind because we've seen it so many times, but now you, you have a little, we have confidence in our group, and sometimes we're going to score that goal, it's okay, it's about the response, and I just think, like I said, for the most part of the season, like the guys that have been going more regularly have been doing a hell of a job for us. And uh, we talked so much after the last game about shot box on their side. Tonight, you guys had something like 30. Was that uh, something that you wanted to focus a little bit more on heading into tonight? Um, not necessarily. I think, um, I think it's just showing our, our uh, willingness to win the game. Um, I think it's a buy-in from everyone. And, uh, you know, we need... You know, guys sacrificing when they get those looks to block some shots, and we had some big blocks tonight. And um, yeah, it just shows a lot of effort from the guys, and and that means a lot to our team.